this video is going to be another review. This is going to be a Kentu series, Kentu Shea Butter series. Got five styling products. I can style your hair along with a moisturizer for people like me who use a moisturizer before a styling product. I decided to just do one per video because I don't want to do all in one video. It's going to be too long. First one is going to be on the Kentu Shea Butter for Natural Hair moisturizer curl activator cream this is what it looks like this is a 12 ounce bottle you can find these at walmart you can find these basically anywhere but it's in walmart not expensive at all and this says produces frizz free smooth bouncy curls activates curls delivers volume and adds shine in the back for directions it basically says apply to damp towel dry hair section by section like reapply to dry hair as needed for moisture and two for natural hair moisturizing curl activated cream will define moisturize and restore your curls leaving them smooth frizz free and full of life made with 100 percent pure shea butter and formulated without harsh ingredients can two for natural hair restores your real authentic beauty embrace your curly kinky or wavy hair with can two for natural hair by the way, these have no sulfate, no silicone, no parabens, or mineral oil. It's going to be a whole wash and go series, so I'll be applying this after I wash my hair and detangle it in condition and decondition and everything like that. But yeah, so my hair, when I apply this, my hair had no products. I already rinsed off my deep conditioner with some cool water. And then I just started applying my moisturizer. By the way, the moisturizer that I used was the one by TGIN moisturizer really moisturizing i just divide my hair in two and i apply that on both sides and then i apply this section by section that is how i apply all my styling products right after my moisturizer was raking it through with my fingers it's actually very very creamy extremely creamy and it feels extremely soft i love the texture all right after i applied it on my hair raking it in with my fingers i just went through my day and then I came back in. Well, it's 100% dry. It's just air dry. I would say that a little bit goes a long way. By the way, I have a lot of hair. And it's right here. That's it. So I am going to have a lot of uses out of this. This is very, it's very light. It's not too liquidy. It's not too light, like water or anything like that. It's just very creamy and very light. First, I actually put a little too much when I was like sectioning my hair. I was like, wow, I don't need that much because a little bit goes such a long way. The smell just smells like very fresh and very light yeah, i like it even afterwards now that my hair is 100 percent dry they apply my hair 100 percent dry it doesn't smell as much as it did when you first applied it but it still smells like really really fresh i feel like it does make your hair extremely soft by the way at first when it was starting to dry i felt like my hair was getting a little bit harder just a little tiny bit i was like why is my hair feeling hard feel the hold in your hair so i i kind of liked it because i knew it wasn't a gel so i knew it wasn't going to get really hard or anything like that but I, I could feel hold right now it's just soft you don't feel no hold whatsoever it's just very soft and very controlled as you can see right here and i just have a braid right here that's it but yeah this is how it looks like and the only thing is i feel like you have to mix it with another product kind of balance both of them the amount so you won't apply too much of neither one or maybe just apply a little gel on top of it when you're done, just at the top, because it didn't give much control to my drier areas, which is my crown, and my front areas right here. So you can see, they are drier. But as far as the, the actual hair, it gives a lot of moisture, and my hair looks really, really shiny, and I actually really like it. Let me turn around. I just like the feeling, the bouncy curls that it says in the front that it gives you. Really smooth, really, really nice. Something that will probably work 100% fantastic on someone whose hair needs less moisture or whose hair have less frizz than my hair does. Because in the front top, it didn't really control very much. You can see my hair right here. But overall, I actually really, really like it. I'm just going to mix it with some other products. So this is a good alternative. It actually looks really perfect if you just take the front parts or the top parts that are like frizzy that you can control out of the way because they're extremely dry and you'll be fine you don't need anything else or any other products but yeah and yeah first very very good volume just perfect for me not too much so it yes it does control my frizz like it probably 90 percent and i'm just gonna apply you know kind of save you products when you mix two different styling products right so yes it's a yes yes for me i really, really like it my hair feels so soft and it does look really really shiny in person and everything i feel i'm gonna have very very good second day hair if i just add another product like i said that i like that gives me more control 
just a little bit of that product, it'll do just fine, especially for control at the top or even a flexi gel or a favorite gel that you have. And that will be it just for the top areas that is my crown and my front areas right there. It doesn't give me much frizz other than right here, the 18 control E, very good. But that's about it. 8 out of 10. I definitely, definitely recommend the moisturizing curl activator cream. Recommend it, especially for secondary hairs too, secondary hairstyles. It's just very moisturizing. It just gives a lot of beautiful shine and the curls are really soft. It's a yes for me for this Kento series, Wash and Go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check previous reviews down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, so you'll know when I upload. Thank you for watching. Bye beauties. I would consider it a 3B3C on my hips and I am 5'3". Big flakes on my hair. I did repurchase this probably 5, 7, 10 times. Like, and I haven't tried uh, two more scents that I want to try. Best thing ever, cheapest things to detangle your hair in the shower. For me, too expensive for to do nothing. I'm soft. I love the results better than the smell. If I ever have to get anything from them, would be the deep conditioner. Because that's a very, very light wash. Not recommend living this as a live-in conditioner. This is the one I love.